So I have this garlic here that I was going to use uh, to ferment some pickles and I noticed that they already had this little, they were already sprouting. So I'm going to plant them here close to the potatoes right here. I'm going to put them right here, see if they come out. Wait, does this go down or up? What part goes down? Hmm. Oh my goodness, I don't know which part goes down. Hmm. This, this side? Oh my goodness, I don't, I planted some before, but I don't remember. Probably planted them wrong. That's why they didn't come out. I would think this goes out. Hmm. I plant this up, and if I'm wrong, I'll come and uh, dig them up and do it again. I'm thinking that goes up. Not sure. And this one is was kind of old, but you could still see it started to crawl into itself. And so I have a lot of them. Almost all of them were sprouting. There's this one here. I sure hope that goes up. I'm thinking that goes up because it's green. The green goes up. I'm thinking. And then like this one, you could hardly tell. But you could see that it's a little bit um, here. Like a little bit swelled. Swelling. So I think that would that's going to sprout right there. These are potatoes here close by. But I'm j I plant everything that kind of wants to sprout. I don't really buy seeds. My sister sometimes gives me seeds, but I, normally I don't buy seeds. I plant um, things like this or the bottoms of onions, um, sweet potatoes. I'll, I know I have to take the slips off and replant those. And potatoes, they have some part, uh, I, I don't know if the, these were little um, turnips or not sure what they are, but they were sprouting, so I planted them. Anything that sprouts, I will plant. Or any seeds that end up in my hands. Anything that crosses my hands that seeds, I will plant. I don't usually, like I said, go buy seeds. I just plant. There's a lot of things that pass through your hands, or you get your neighbors, and you know they throw out um, a lot of uh, seeds. And uh, like this one is sprouting. You can't see it, but it's gonna sprout right there. Okay, so we'll just cover it with a lip little bit of soil and plant them this one's gonna go right here and they'll just sprout so these are the turnips I think they're turnips and these are the potatoes right here. The potato. Mm, and these are the onions. Right here. These are purple onions. Purple onions. And uh, this is more potatoes. Right here in the corner. More potatoes. And there's more potatoes. I have this here so the chickens won't climb. I've seen them climb up here and scratch away my things that I plant. There's more potatoes in here. And here you have these, um, you have stinging nettles and uh, which, uh, um, right here it's just stinging nettles right here. Stinging nettles. You can take some of the seeds and make a, a really good tea, nutritious tea. There's a little lemon tree here that's coming out. The tips dried up, uh, froze here. 
the tips but not it's sprouting again oh so and then uh, where are they there's some wood sorrel right here wood sorrel you can put the wood sorrel with the nettles to make a really delicious tea because the wood sorrel is a little bit lemony and uh, that's about it I have a weed here growing it looks like a dandelion I'm not sure I'm gonna let it be I'm gonna let it be because uh, if that is a dandelion I'll, I'll, uh, I'll throw in the leaves with my tea and there's some more uh, wood uh, stinging nettles here. Okay. So, this stays covered here. Mm. And that, that way the sun can go through and water. I don't have to be removing it. And uh, here's a little lemon tree. Here's another little lemon tree. Here's your little soap nut tree. My soap nut trees are doing so good and those are the ones I thought would I would lose because they've never gone through. My soap nuts have never gone through a frost. And even these little ones are doing good. This is the uh, mm, mint. That's mint not doing too good. And these are my little cabbage from the scraps. These are my little cabbage doing good. Ow. And... Uh, Okay. These uh, these potatoes are really tall, right there. All these are potatoes, and I stuck in some moringa twigs before the freeze, but no, nothing gonna happen there. So I might remove those, and then here. What am I covering here? I don't even know what I'm covering here. Something's there. I put some seeds here. Uh, manzano peppers. Yeah. Manzano peppers here that I hope to that they grow. Manzano pepper. It's a pepper that looks like an apple. But it's hot as a... Uh, like what are those orange peppers? Mm, but it tastes like a bell pepper. So they're really good. It's as hot as those orange peppers. The orange... Sorry, I can't remember the name of that. Orange pepper, one of the hottest peppers. And here I'm uh, drying out some of the sansevedas. So, because uh, the, the roots are doing so good, they're drying out. There's not a lot of sun out, but they're drying out really good. And then I'll replant them and I'll have my sansevedas back. This is kind of messy right here because I was so disappointed. Everything, I thought everything was dead, but not everything was dead. The potatoes did really good. The parsley. I'm going to put something here. I don't know yet. My daughter gave me those. I don't know what I'm going to put there. But the potatoes did really good. The cabbage did real good. Where is my big cabbage? My cabbage did really good. The potatoes, the parsley, the onions. Mm. The, the broccoli. The broccoli did really good and it's still doing good. Maybe I should take this off so it can continue growing or would it still grow? I don't know. I don't want to take it off because the chickens. I don't want to. They scratched this off already and I had to replant them. They did okay. They, they, they. Oh my God, they destroyed this. But. they're doing so good look at that this is a broccoli it's a cabbage here have a cabbage right here two cabbage two cabbage right there from the scraps there's a parsley doing really good in the onions I need to find some another way to cover these so it won't so they can still grow tall I know these grow tall uh, so right now, I'm going to look for my, I'm missing a, a cabbage, a cabbage in a pot. Where is my cabbage in a pot? I don't know, it fell over to the other side of the refrigerators. Hmm. 
let's take a look uh, mama there it is there it is there's my pot right there my cabbage ha ah, cabbage I need to get it I'll just jump over the fence okay oh I knew my cabbage probably fell hmm come on Oh, look at it, it needs water. What happened? How did you fall the way across? It needs water for sure. I don't know if I may be getting finally a little kid of cabbage. Maybe, maybe not. So this one, I'm going to take it out of here because it needs... If it fell, it's going to fall again. Okay. So, oh, I'm gonna use uh, this, this, uh, oi, <gasps> jumping over that fence. Uh, where am I gonna put my cabbage? I'm gonna set it up here in this little space. Oh, there's some onions in here. <laughs> Some onions coming up there. I can set it in here in this corner. I don't have anything here in this corner. There we go. That way I can water it a little bit. Yeah. There's onions coming out here. I put leaves on top so that kind of helped them. So. Well, right now, that's all we have. Look at all the potatoes. Potato plants are gorgeous. Well, thank you. We just planted some garlic. Thank you. <laughs>